Hey YouTube, Stu B520. Holy moly, has it been a minute? Uh, better part of a year, I'd say, since I put out a video. Uh, had some stuff going on. You know, life stuff. So that's about it. That's all I'll reveal today. So I was at the gun shop, and I came across. Uh, a whole bunch of pistols and rifles that I like that I, you know, I hadn't been to the gun shop in a long time. It's, it's been about uh, 10 months or so. But uh, again, life stuff. But in any event, I was at the gun shop the other day and uh, I was per perusing the cases and man, were there a lot of pistols. I, I wonder how many I missed out on because I hadn't been to the gun shop in so long but uh yeah so i was looking around and trying this one trying that one and there was uh this one in the case it's uh the beretta nano it's a single stack nine millimeter let's do a safety check empty magazine This is the weird thing about it. empty chamber, empty magwell. This gun is clear. All right, so like I said, I was perusing the chat, the racks, the, the cases, and there was two of these Beretta Nanos. One was a, a OD green with a black slide, and there was this one, and. Uh, the OD green one had factory sights. This one had Trigicon night sights. Let's see. Trigicon. Now, I kind of saw it in the dark. A l kind of dark, but it wasn't dark enough. So I'll see tonight. But, uh, yeah, so this one was a little more expensive than the other one. But, uh, so I said to the guy, I said, why is that one more expensive? And he said, let me see why. So he pulls it out and he looks at the tag. And the tag said, no box, but nine, <laughs> nine spare mags. Are you kidding me? So it was a deal I couldn't pass up. I, I, I had to buy, look. Nine mags. There's two there. One with a pinky extension. There's a pinky extension on there, on that one. Look at this. Nine mags. Now, granted, they're only six round mags, but still, I was looking these mags up on eBay, and man, they're anywhere from bid, bid on it for $25, and then some upwards around $40, $50. You get a you know a two pack for like uh, sixty bucks or something. So two of them, two of them had the little. I think it's a Pierce. I want to say it's Pierce pinky extension. So I got two mags. Uh, where's the other one? The other one's right there. Two of them with a pinky extension, and then eight. Flush fit mags. So let's, let's take a look here. There's the pinky extension. Right? I just get, just get. Okay. And then there's the flake, flush base plate that the pinky's hanging off. You see that? So I personally like the pinky extension. So whilst I was, whilst, whilst I was cashing, cashing out, purchasing the pistol next to the caching uh the the next to the register there where you're paying there's a little bin with uh loose magazines like you know lost soldiers almost you know like uh spare mags that they found in a box or whatever so i, lo I look and right on top happened to be this plus two eight round nano magazine. So, you know, I had to buy it, right? 
plus two. So now, even with the pinky extension, it's prob probably about the same coverage, but you get a really a full grip there. So that's that. So it came with nine spare mags, plus the one I had on here was 10. And then I found that one, 15 bucks for that. That on eBay, that's a $50 bill right there. I got it for 15 bucks. I had to get it, right? I had to. All right, so that aside, now there, these are all six round, uh, six capacity, six round capacity magazines with the exception of this one, which is eight. And that's that. So here we are, Beretta Nano. Uh, I'm not sure the date on this one. I got to call Beretta USA and find out the date because it was made in Maryland, uh, Echo, Echo Creek, Maryland. This one was out of there. So they'll have the production year at least. It doesn't look too old. I, I'm not sure when they came out or, or how old this one is in particular. But... The weird thing about these little pistols is uh, it's really nice. It's a good little feel. It's got some weight, but uh, there's no slide lock, no safety. Uh, it's a striker fired pistol. Now, you guys know I'm a hammer fired guy, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I, I got a great deal on this. Um, there's no slide lock. So the only time it, it locks back is when the last round hold open with the mag in there. And you can't drop the mag unless it's a full mag. You're putting it in and you release the slide. Oh, see, if there was bullets in there, the slide would drop just like that. So I, I don't know if that's a safety feature or not, but you know, it is what it is. There's, it's supposed to be like a snag free. There's no there's no draw, takedown lever. There's no slide lock. So that's that. Let's see. Let's take a look at this trigger. It's a little spongy, this trigger. Let's see. This is a striker fire. It's got a safety blade in there. So you got to depress the, the blade in the middle first. All right. You got to do that first. Here's the trigger. It's long. It's long. It's long. It's long. It's, it, it takes a bit to get there. And then you got the reset almost all the way out right there. It's tactile and it's uh, audible so you can hear it and feel it. Then you got that spongy wall and then it breaks again. But, uh, you know, it's just something to get used to. The breakdown, eh, I'm not going to do it on camera because I don't have a little tool. I had it broken down already. So I was cleaning it a little, but uh, what you do is make sure it's unloaded, which it is, and then you could disengage if you don't want to pull the trigger to push the slide forward. You can disengage the striker, uh, see your pin or the striker, by pushing this button with the tool, or and or you could push that button and then you you turn the little thing sideways with a screwdriver or the, the, the end of a uh, spent nine millimeter case until it's this way. And then you pull the trigger or if you've already deactivated this, uh, the striker, the, the striker, then you pull the trigger and the slide just comes forward. And then I think it's a three inch barrel. Uh, it's a uh, Browning tilt design. I'm not going to break it down, but in any event, what do you think of that? I'm going to find out. I hadn't, I just got it today. Actually, I was in the shop the other day and I put money down for him to hold it. I went back and picked it up today. So, uh, nice little pistol. I seen a bunch of reviews already on YouTube and most were favorable. There was a couple that, you know, they said they were having problems with jams and, uh, feeding issues and failure to extract issues. But, uh, at the same time, there's uh where they tell you to use uh 124 grain or 147 grain not 115 grain uh, excuse me uh so we'll have to do our normal testing 300 rounds i'll put 
124 grain. I don't know if I have any 147 grain, but uh, I do have 115 grain, and I do have a bunch of different hollow points at 115 and 124 grain, and I do have uh, the regular range ammo at 124 grain. So I'm gonna put it through its pace. I'm gonna put it through its paces, and uh, you know that's that. Uh, Beretta Nano single stack. Six plus one will give you seven. Unless you got this base plate right here that has a, it's an eight round mag. Plus one in the chamber is nine. So, and in my state restricts anyway. So it, at best I can have capacity of 11, 10 plus one. So this will be eight plus one for nine or six plus one for seven and that in the pocket. So seven plus eight, 15 rounds of nine mil, you know, that's a, oh, oh, oh yeah. Plus uh, six times nine. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So it's got a good feel ergonomics. It's a little, it's got some heft. Yeah, I, I believe it's a swappable magazine release. I don't know for sure. I didn't get that far yet in my, in my homework. But uh, there it is, Beretta Nano, a hell of a deal. Actually, the best deal that I've had on any firearm, I think, uh, in three, four years. I went in there possibly to buy uh, a Rossi 92 lever action, a beautiful, brand new, uh, like 700 bucks, but that was a lot. That was a lot. That I didn't want to shell out right now. And there was a Ruger uh, uh, PC carving in there too, a used one. Uh, uh, so 9mm, you know, I like 9mm. Uh, why not get a rifle that fires 9mm, a PCC? So, but it was used and it wasn't, it was for 650 and, you know, I just didn't want to do it. So I was looking around and I saw this. And like I said, I saw there was two of them. And uh, why was this one uh, $100 more than the other one? Well, had nine spare mags. You know, this is $200 worth of mags right here, if not more. You know, these are 30 40 bucks a piece, you know. Uh, so there you go. I, 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 I can sell five of them, keep six, five here plus one, I, you know. I think I made out pretty good. It's a great deal. So what do you people think? I'm sorry I took so long for the video, for a video, a better part of a year, like I said, but stuff going on. We all have that happen in our lives, disrupt things for a little bit, but I'm back. Beretta Nano. Uh, could be a nice backup gun, ankle gun. Uh, if my wife likes it, She'll, she'll, I'll put it in the, in the, in the side safe for her so she can have access to it uh, when she gets to shoot it because she wants to shoot now to uh, shoot more now. Uh, so I'm gonna let her test out a few of my pistols, see which one she likes the best, and uh, you know if she likes one of them, maybe she'll get one of her own and uh, you know uh, revolver. She's a revolver fan, I think. But that's you know next time. Um, also, uh, I got another video coming up. Uh, I, I don't know when, but uh, it won't be a year. It won't be a year's time. So, thoughts? Beretta Nano, single stack. Six in the magazine, one in the chamber for seven. Trigicon night sights. You see? Trig night sights. You see that Trigicon right there? Trigicon. Not too shabby. Great deal. Nine extra mags. And then I found, on a crazy luck, I found that eight rounder right on top of this, this uh, the mag bin, the loose magazine bin they had, 15 bucks. That's a $40, $50. <laughs> what do you think? Beretta Nano. Thanks, YouTube. Have a great day.